Check, check, check. Hello, 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 hello. <sighs> what is up, everyone? So I have some pretty exciting news. We now have anamorphic de-squeeze for both photo and video in our Android app. So before we dive into this video, all you're gonna do is you're gonna mount your lens on your phone. You are gonna see it looking squeezed in the image, but then you're gonna see right here, lens selection, toggle that, hit anamorphic, You'll see a de-squeeze preview in the app and you will also see the outputted photo or video de-squeezed as well. We know this feature has been a long time coming, so thank you for your patience and persistence. We wanna make the Android app um, as amazing as we possibly can. We have a bunch of features lined up. This was one that you guys definitely asked for and definitely wanted, so we are stoked that we finally have it. All right, so everyone knows that our anamorphic lens looks amazing for photos and videos when you shoot the traditional way, which is horizontal. You get that cinematic aspect ratio and those yummy flares. But as anamorphic lenses are becoming more mainstream and used by more and more people, we are seeing more and more ways to utilize this lens. Vertical video in general has taken the whole film industry by storm. There are some that are completely disgusted at the idea, while others are fully embracing it. You see this with filmmakers such as Jesse Driftwood, who's completely uh, taken on a vertical format. But you also see this in a lot of music videos, the latest being a music video featuring Billie Eilish. So what we are talking about today is not just shooting vertical, but shooting vertical anamorphic with both photos and videos for IG stories. I first saw this done by Sam Sheffer. He posted a tweet of a vertical anamorphic photo at a basketball game, and I remember just thinking, Huh? But after seeing that photo, um, I've tried it out a couple times, shooting vertical anamorphic, and I have to say, I think it's pretty dope. You still get everything you love about an anamorphic lens, just rotated. So think of it as like a mini, small, vertical panoramic photo. The aspect ratio of your phones, in this case we're using a Pixel 3, is a four by three image. So for IG stories, you actually have to crop in to fill that nine by 16 frame which then means you're gonna lose the size of your image. But with anamorphic, you actually get like a 2.3 by 5.4 image, which then slots into that nine by 16 format on Instagram stories super well. You can use an app like InShot or Afterlight, which basically puts that white border around. So if you wanna crop in your, your vertical photo or video, then you can have a little border around it, or you can just scale in to fill the whole frame. It's important to note that when you're scaling in, you will lose a little bit of that top and bottom image. But all in all, what you get is a photo that is much more suited for Instagram stories. There is just tons of content options in 2019. I feel like we're just inundated with so much stuff and it's very, very hard as a creator to stand out. But this is just one of those ways that you can make your content look a little different. Works for both photo and videos. And if anything else, even if you're like, hey, that's kind of whack, it's just another way to shoot. It's another creative muscle to exercise. Um, we've had a ton of fun shooting vertical with the anamorphic. We think it's awesome. And um, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being a part of the moment journey. And um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Vertical anamorphic. Pretty cool.